Hello and welcome to more gaming fans. I'm your host Joe Moore here bringing you week three of the PML draft and we're gonna go super hyper offense week this week um, we're, we're gonna lead off Chevrolet and shift gear. We're not afraid to shift gear in front of anything So we're gonna shift gear right out of the gate and just start swinging on motherfuckers, you know, and then he has three fighting types so <clears throat> everything we have is pretty offensive towards that as well as um, Rapunzel, who's going to be our little trick room sweeper if we get a chance at the end. Uh, we just got to get rid of that uh, Goldingo and uh, Grafaii. Uh, but last week we led uh, Rev of Room with a pretty defensive uh, hazard set. <clears throat> Hopefully they think we're doing that again this week. And we shall see how that goes. Um... I just want to get the shift gear off and then hit the first thing I see. That's, that's basically what I'm doing. I'm not predicting switches. I'm not doing none of that. I'm hitting the first thing in my sights. Getting rid of it as soon as possible. And that's going to be that. So we do have um, Roaring Moon as our sweeper as well. Uh, depending on you know who can get out there last. If possible, I'd like to sweep with Rev uh, Roaring Moon get it some kills for the season uh, but Rev of Room can potentially just outright knock a lot of stuff out at the beginning so we'll see how this goes good luck have fun Alright, so Misery Gear is going to send out Hariyama first. So, beautiful. That is fine with me. And, oh man. I didn't put Terra Blast. Okay, so that's going to suck. <clears throat> but to avoid the Earthquake kill here, I'm going to go for Shift Gear and Terra right away. That's, that was the game plan. That's what we're doing. We don't have Terra Blast, so that kind of sucks, but we're still going to be hitting things pretty hard. So, let's see what he decides to do here. He goes Fake Out. That's not going to work. We are Ghost Type. <clears throat> Wasn't exactly planned for that, but, you know, it works out the way it does. We get a free Shift Gear off, and now we're just going to start hitting things. We're going to go Gunk Shot right away. And let's see what they switch out to here. If they switch. They could just go knockoff, which would hurt still. But hopefully our gunk shot will hit and we can knock this thing out. Oh, they switch. Beautiful. Grafaii comes in. And this should still hurt. All right. <clears throat> so that thing's going to get hit there. We're just going to go ahead for the Iron Head. Get the hit. We should be faster than everything. Oh, no. He has Choice Scarf. Lagging Tail. Oh, Prankster. Duh. All right. That's fine. Uh, now we're slow, but we're still going to hit like a truck. So I'm not too worried about that. <laughs> truck. Nickname Chevrolet. Rev of Room. Yay, yay! It all comes together. So now we're going to have to take a hit, but we are built to. So that's fine. The only thing that sucks is Goldingo is going to be able to two-shot us. Unless it's Specs, then it'll probably one-shot us. But, <clears throat> hopefully it's not Specs, so we can live the hit and knock this thing out. Uh, I'm going to bulldoze here. He's going to go Thunder Wave. I'm already lagging tail. That's a weird play, but okay. So we're going to go ahead and bulldoze. Maybe he thought we would switch, which is which is a fair argument there. So Goldingo's speed is dropped, and that's perfect for us. Oh, it's a bulky Goldingo. Well, that's good for us because we needed it uh, dropped in health so we can one-shot it with uh, Roaring Moon, if anything. 
They're gonna go hex. That'll probably knock us out. Yeah. All right. So Reverend Room drops, only taking. We didn't take anyone out. Did we? Yeah, we did. We took out Grafaya. So now we're gonna go Viva Mexico, and we're just gonna start swinging. So we get an attack boost. And we're going to go ahead and go for crunch. We're going to go for the crunch. We're plus one attack too. So nothing's living hits. Unless it's a resisted hit. All right, what is he going to do here? Does he stay in? Nope, withdrawals. Probably goes Hariyama. No, Oricorio. I don't think Oricorio lives this hits. Oh, it does. All right. So, we're just going to go for the... We'll go for the crunch again. Knock it out. Beautiful. Didn't need the crit there, but we got it. And unless he's got a Scarfer, nothing's going to be faster. We're immune to Prankster Thunder Wave because we're dark type. Uh, nothing on his team has Mock Punch, I believe, but Vacuum Wave will hurt. Uh, earthquake. Oh, what's it going to? Water. Okay, that's fine. So it might live this earthquake. We are still plus one. Nope, it lives. So nasty plot. Ooh. Ooh, nasty plot vacuum wave? That could hurt. We don't have nothing that would want to take a vacuum wave, though. So I'm just going to go for the acrobatics. Oh, we live. Even with the nasty plot. <clears throat> All right. Well, that didn't save him there. We are pretty bulky, so makes sense we live. Lucario goes down. What does he got next? That fake out's going to hurt. So fake out should be able to take us out here. I'm just gonna click acrobatics anyway. <clears throat> Hoping he doesn't click fake out, but of course why not? Oh, it doesn't take us out. All right, so we're gonna acrobatics here again. Bullet punch, nice double priority. Okay. Um. Now I just go. I think this is it. <clears throat> I think this is where I go. Is I think this is where I go Trick Room Rapunzel. Alright, we're going to take a hit. <clears throat> Let's see, bullet punch probably. Oh, do we live two bullet punches? That, that, I didn't think of that. Oh, no, he just switches. Goldingo. Goldingo comes out. All right now it's faster, but now it's not. <clears throat> so we get a free hit. So now we'll get the free hit of Shadow Ball, unless he switches to Grafaii. No, it doesn't. It stays in. Oh, and it lives the hit. And it goes recover. This could be a problem. Question is, does it go nasty plot here?
I'm gonna go cyborg because we're slower right now. If we get if he hits us, we can get the weak armor boost. That's gonna be a problem. So cyborg comes in, goes hex. Ooh, that hurt. But <clears throat> we get the weakness policy. Does that activate weakness? Uh, weak armor? No. Okay, cool. So we're still slower. And we're going to go armor cannon. Armor cannon. Let's see if that knocks it out. It should. Plus two. Oh, it's slower? Wow. Wow. Okay. Goldingo, a threat. How is it so slow? How is it so slow? Okay. I'm going to go Rapunzel here. That's a problem. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go for the Shadow Ball here. He might go make it rain. Surprisingly, didn't switch to Grafaya. Maybe I think we have a psychic move. Okay. One more turn of Trick Room. Nope. Back to normal. He'll probably recover here. I'm just going to click. Keep clicking Shadow Ball. No, goes for the attack. And Rapunzel goes down. Okay, so now we're in deep trouble here. We're in deep doo doo if we can't take this thing out. I'm gonna go for Lone Wolf, and we gotta hit this drill run. And we gotta hope it knocks it out. Because this thing is just taking hits. Door one comes off, and it lives! And it goes for the Thunder Wave. So here's the question is it still faster? I mean, is it still slower? Wow. That's wild. Oh, man, are we going to lose to a Goldingo? We'll find out. Drill run. Come on, go fa be faster, be faster, be faster, be faster. Oh, it used Hex. It used Hex. We'll live. Drill run. All right, cool. So we still have a chance. But I think we lose, honestly. I don't think Rotom could take out both. Uh, I think Kariyama's the last thing. But I don't think it can knock it out. No, he has, he has two Pokemon left. What two Pokemon? Oh, Primate. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I think we lose. Bullet Punch. That knocks us out. And I think that's game. Because uh, I don't think John Deere knocks out two Pokemon. Especially since Primate's probably going to be... Uh, Evia light. But we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Thunderbolt. Oh, yeah. Now we lose. GG to Misery. I. Uh, Hyper Offense did not win us the game. That Goldingo lived a bunch of stuff. And sometimes it's just like that. So, GG to Misery Gear. Uh, we'll have to turn it around next week. We're still. We're still positive. We're two and one. But taking a loss this week does hurt. That uh, fake out bullet punch was honestly what turned the game around against uh, Roaring Moon. And me not having Terra Blast on Rev of Room really hurt as well. Okay, bullet punch again. 
and then uh, Primeape will take us out. So he, he'll get a 1-0 victory. Unless somehow we get like a massive crit and Primeape doesn't hit us. <laughs> or something, I don't know. But yeah, it's over. So GG's again to Misery Gear. We will see you guys in week four and hopefully we can get the win there.